Vitamin D is turning out to be a potentially interesting factor related to not only uh, susceptibility to MS, but perhaps as a disease modifying therapy. Uh, we do know now that uh, low levels of vitamin D seem to be associated with an increased susceptibility to developing MS, and that's based on some studies done um, from the military looking at people before they actually developed MS, and there was an increased risk with low levels of vitamin D. That goes along with what we know about the uh, latitude effect, so that the folks born in northern climates have a higher risk of developing MS, and that be, may be one of the factors. There's also a recent study showing that uh, individuals who were diagnosed with MS who had higher levels of vitamin D had lower um, uh, amounts of disease activity and less disease progression during their initial time after diagnosis. Vitamin D is a, is a drug that has been shown in a lot of laboratory, animal-based mostly studies, has very potent effects on the immune system uh, and interacts with the main uh, players that seem to be important in MS in a way that, again, compellingly suggests that it probably has a very important role. There's very strong association uh, data for vitamin D and MS. The big question is, does supplemental vitamin D improve the outcome of people who already have MS? And uh, sadly, we don't have an answer to that question yet. A number of small studies have been inconclusive, and we await the results of a not yet designed definitive clinical trial. What's lacking is a definitive, large-scale, prospective, double-blind trial to prove that. We have some smaller studies with less clear-cut results, um, and uh, we have a lot of sort of compelling coincidental data that would suggest that it might be important. I am personally taking vitamin D, even though I don't have MS. My kids are supposed to be taking vitamin D, even though they don't have MS. Um, and I am urging my patients to take vitamin D. I think the downside of it is quite low for the dose range of a few thousand international units per day, and the upside might be quite good. I also recommend that uh, people uh, who have MS, that their children uh, be checked for low vitamin D and that they uh, be supplemented if they have low levels. Um, children of people with MS are at greater risk than the general population of developing MS that's partly driven by uh, genetics, can affect the genes, but we can uh, decrease their risk by making sure that they, they have normal vitamin D levels.